So, starter deck 13, another ultimate starter deck is, look, it's literally a couple of weeks away. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about a couple of things. First, we're gonna have a brief look at the new leaders coming out of the starter deck. There's three of them, so get pumped. Oh, yes! 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 The second is we're gonna look at some cards to pick up so you can play these new leaders at full force. We're gonna hit them with everything we got. And third, we're gonna look at some winning lists out of the Japanese OPO6 format with the new starter deck leaders. Right, no mucking around, we're just getting straight into this one. First up, we're gonna be looking at Ace. So Ace is a blue-yellow leader, 5,000 power, four life. The effect is Dawn times two. Activate main once per turn of the top five cards of your deck. Reveal one character with a cost of five to the top of your life face up, then place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. At the end of your turn, send all face-up cards in your life to the trash. Now, there are quite a few decks in the starter deck, which will synergize quite nicely with Ace. In fact, there's a lot of the cards that synergize quite nicely with the Sabo and Luffy coming out of the starter deck as well. And that, that last bit of the effect may seem a bit like, oh, like a bit of a, a bit of a waste there, but there are a few cards in the starter deck that let you flip your life cards face down. We have a couple of tech cards that allow us to do similar things that we have access to. This sort of stuff gets better in EBO1 as well, so look out for Ace coming in then. But it's a nice way to just get a good recover. So for two Don, you're, you're adding yourself a new life, and then if you have a way to turn that face down, you basically recovered yourself a life for just two Don, which is absolutely fantastic. Now let's take a look at some cards that we could run in here. So out of the winning lists here, some key cards that we'll look at, we'll see in the winning list as we go along in the video in a second. We've got the Sanji is a, is a great one, that because um, this is one that allows you to to make use of the card that you've just added. So Sanji 2k counter, cost you two, 3,000 body when attacking, you can add the top or bottom card of your life to your hand, then you can replace it with the top card of your deck. So that mitigates trashing that, your face up a life cards with Ace's other effect there. So you can recover one, use Sanji's effect to take that card and then you replace it with another one. So technically you still recovered, which is really nice. So that synergizes quite nicely with, especially with Ace's second effect. The other one that's seen in some winning lists is the Hayori, which also synergizes fairly nicely there. This is also a 2K counter, costs you two. On play, you can take the top or bottom life card, uh, add it to your hand and you can replace it with something from your hand. So you can add that face up card, you can replace something back down there, you can just replace the same card there, but the key thing is it's now face down, which synergizes as well. So yeah, a lot of the wing lists run, they definitely run four Hayoris. Some don't run a full place of Sanji, but yeah, most of them do. We'll have a look at that in just a second. Moving along the list here, Pudding is a great one that is run out of four of in more in this list here. We have access to blue, so Pudding's great. It just lets you reset your opponent's hand, especially if they've got a massive hand in there. Really good card. Definitely one to pick up if you want to run Ace, if you don't have some Puddings already, so pick up a play set there. Suru is another one that is uh, run at anywhere between one to four copies in Ace list as well. This synergizes as well with that five cost stuff going on there. So this is one that you can add to the top of your life. Is a 2k counter. On play, you trash two cards. Your opponent bounces something back to the hand. Can be anything, which is really nice. But a great, like, I guess a technically like a searchable 2k counter that you can add to your life. Um, and then you can add to your hand with your Sanji or or your Hayori. Um, skipping a couple of cards here, we'll go straight to the Satori. This is card is is run in most of the winning list that Ace will look at in a second. Once again, it's a five cost character. Uh, is also a 2k counter and is also a trigger then as well. So that's really great uh, to have access to. Um, skipping another couple of cards here, we're going to go to Amaru. This one is definitely run in the, the winning list, the topping list. Great card, great finisher. Um, yeah, if you've played yellow, if you've played against yellow, you've seen this card. Great card to have, so pick them up if you haven't, if you want to run any of these leaders in um, the, the new starter deck. And then Sanji's Peel-Off is one that's run in a fair few of uh, the ace builds as well. So anywhere between two to four copies as well. So pick up this guy if you haven't already. Uncommon from OPO3 should be fairly easy to find. Now the rest of these cards that I've got in, in here are five cost character cards um, that can synergize fairly well. Not run in winning list, but can be fairly good. Like your Shirahoshi um, is a great one because it's a trigger that you draw three trash to. It meets that five cost threshold to be placed into your life. Just another target for Ace there. Yigigatsu is another great one that can be recovered into life. 
typically his effect, usually when you're using Aether's effect, you kind of pass the stage where you're going to get some really good value out of that effect there, but still another great five cost target you can run. Your Momo is also a great one, it lets you recycle your Hayori as well. Um, so on play, you can place a Wano type um, to the top, from your board to the top or bottom of your life, face up. So you just gotta be careful of that Aces effect there as well. So that does kind of mitigate that. So yeah, as I'm speaking this out loud, maybe not a great choice to run, but is a good one to have that meets that five cost threshold for you. Um, is a blocker as well, so that's pretty nice. Your Denjuro is not a bad one as well. Your another five cost one has a trigger that can play it out immediately. So if you have a way to turn it down, there's a few cards we've mentioned there already. Um, and then there's a couple of cards in the new deck that allow you to do that as well. And there's a promo that we've seen floating around, Bellamy. Once again, just a nice five cost one. Gives you Banish. And if you're on zero life, add two Don gets an extra 2,000. So buffing by 4,000. So it's going to swing 10,000 when you're at zero life with two Don. So not a bad option there. Um, and then the other one we missed over here is a blue one, x Drake Blocker. Let's you stack the top five cards of your deck as well. So if you don't see any of the cards that will be suitable for Ace's effect, there you can bottom deck it, rearrange it so that you know that you're going to be having something that you can hit there. And a card that I didn't mention as well earlier, L4, run in some of the builds there, so not a bad option there. We'll take a look at some some winning lists and ratios so you get a better idea of how many copies you want, want to, might want to pick up. But just as a summary, Sanji, Hayori, Yitsuru, Yasutori, Amaru, and Pilaf are all cards you probably should pick up if you do want to play Ace. All right, next up, let's talk about the Luffy. So Luffy is black, yellow, 5,000 body, four life. So a few things going on here. The first is like a, a rule changing text, similar to Nami. It says, as per the rules, your face up life cards will go to the bottom of your deck instead of going to your hand. So you should keep that in mind. Once again, there's a few ways to flip your face up life, face down. Uh, the other part of Luffy's effect is Don times to activate main once per turn. You may discard a card from your hand. If you add zero life, you may add two cards with a cost of five. So two characters, sorry, with a cost of five from your hand or your trash face up in your life. So going from zero life to two life for just two Dawn and trashing a card is absolute insane value. And if you find your, your options to try and turn the, some of those lives face down, that's also really good for you as well. But they're, they're going to be life. They're going to save you from, from being KO'd for at least another two attacks, which is really nice. Unfortunately, you can't add them to your hand. They go to the bottom of the deck, but a few ways you can play around that, but a great way to stall as well. All right, looking at some key cards. Once again, Hayori, playset, definitely needed. We've spoken a bit about the play bit of usability of this in A section. Allows you to, to add a card from the top of your life, replace it with something from your hand, uh, face down. Your Borsalino is a great one. We're running black. Borsalino is a great blocker. That you can run. Yusabo is a definite must play in the Luffy deck because you have a way to kind of cheat out the Sabo uh, with some of the newer cards. So definitely pick up a play set of Sabos if you can. They're creeping up in price thanks to old Gecko Moria as well. So yeah, sorry to your wallets if you do want to play the, the, the Luffy out of the new starter deck, but Sabo definitely want to run. Now Satori is another great option. Not run in all the lists, but is a great one to have. It meets that threshold of five. You can add it to your to your life so it becomes a 2k counter you can counter with that you can add to your life if you have to find a way to flip it face down you can also then trigger it out again which is really nice your virgo similar kind of thing it's just a, a 2k counter with a five cost so you can use as a counter and then you can add back into to life with luffy's effect later on and similar with your shirahoshi which we've spoken about before as well um, just a five cost one that can be added back to your life. Gecko Moria is actually really good in this deck. Black, we're playing some really good black cards in your Borsalino Sabo and now your Gecko Moria. Just helps you spam out the board. Um, you can actually play the Hayori off this one as well. So you can get that effect off there, which is really nice. You can't play any of your, your five cost characters. So you're going to be mainly playing things like your Borsalino, other smaller characters from the newer deck with that effect there as well. But yeah, definitely if it's run, it's run pretty close to a play set. So pick them up if you want to play some Luffy's. We'll look at some winning lists once again later on. And yeah, once again, Amaru, pick it up. You're going to be running two to four of these in any of these decks here. So pick that up there. And then another not too bad one here is Reject. We didn't talk about it in Ace, but it's a, it's a really good yellow card. Not always used in winning lists, but it's going to be banned soon. So we might as well use it when it, while we can. Great finisher, great form of removal when it's not time to finish a game. Can get you out of many tough situations, old Reject. All right, moving on to the last of the new leaders, which is Sabo. Sabo is the red-yellow five 
8,000 power for life leader. The effect is Don times one activate main once per turn, add one card with a cost of three or higher and that has 7,000 power or more to the top of your life face up. Then give one of your characters 2,000 power until the start of your next turn. So this one is, is probably the one that's run fairly differently. So the other two decks like to run those five cost characters because you can get their effects off quite nicely. This one, yeah, kind of shifts the play style. And this one probably has a few different versions, which we'll look at as well. So a few different play styles that you can run. So revolutionary army type, so you can run that whole package. We've seen that be fairly successful with Bello Betty previously. There's white beard lists here. There's like straw hat lists here. There's a few different things. Red's got a lot of options. Um, and then we've got some, some key staple yellow cards run there as well. So speaking of the uh, revolutionary army type stuff, if you want to run that package, you need your Belly Belly Searcher, running four of those, really good to have. Your Koala is pretty much used in any version of these lists. You can get the power minusing effect because Sabo is a revolutionary army type, which only triggers with Koala then. 2k counter, if you're running the revolutionary army package, is a searchable 2k counter. Then your other revolutionary army stuff is your Morley. Um, you trigger, trash a card, play the card. This one becomes unblockable when it's 7,000 power or more. So you can use that swing, then you can use Sabo's effect to pop it into life buff something else it can get then get triggered out when you're attacked into so just yeah basically saving it to bring it out later uh the next turn uh moving on the list karasu really good one if you're running the revolutionary army type stuff this kind of this card sticks and if you see multiple of them it's very 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 hard for your opponent to win this one on play you can minus a leader or character by 1,000 power for the whole turn. When attacking, the same effect is triggered when it has 7,000 power or more. The Ivankov, great one to run, lets you spawn out a bunch of um, revolutionary army type characters. So that's really good to have there. Your Iceberg, similar to your Morley, uh, can be triggered out by discarding a card. And then when attacking, if you're 7,000 power or more, you can KO something with 3,000 power or less. Um, yeah, really good, especially you have some power reduction stuff going on, which we've seen with Koala, some other red cards that allow you to do the same. Your Inazuma is another great one. This is your Rush one from the Revolutionary Army type package. I um, mean, I believe there is a new Ivankov as well, which it, it, probably not say a guarantee, must play, but can be quite useful uh, there. Now, with some yellow stuff, definitely once again, Hayori, you definitely want to play this. Just a great 2k counter to have. Kikunojo, another great yellow one that we can uh, use multiple times. So we can swing in, use Sanji's effect, put it back in life, can be triggered out straight away, which is really nice. Similar with your Nekomamushi, can be triggered out once again. We can swing, we can attack active characters. Save the Nekomamushi by basically getting good recover coming out the next turn so we can swing again. And same with your Dinjoro, very similar kind of concept going on right there. All right, jumping over to some winning lists. First of all, let's have a look at A. So uh, we've got, I think we've got three lists for Ace here. So this one is the first place out of a 16-man tournament. So not a massive tournament. We can have a look at some ratios here. So we've got the three Sanji, the four Satori, the four Hayori. And then we've got a bunch of these new cards running anywhere between three to four. So the some of these cards like the Sabo, the Garp, the Ace... The Luffy here, all two ofs in the, the starter deck. So if you want to run this, you're going to have to pick up two of them. So get on the hunt while you still can. And then, so your Yamato is another new one. And then we've got things you put in, which you spoke about. Just a two of there. Suru in this one, just a one. Amaru, just a one. And then two Sanji's peel-offs in this list here. Let's pop over to another one. This one's also a first place. I don't know how big this one was here, just as a card shop. But we've got the four Satori, four, three Hayori this time, the bunch of the new cards here. Um, anywhere between one to four, we see Shanks, which you didn't see in the other list right there. Um, and then we're moving on to those other ones with the four Puddings, two Amaru's, and the four Sanji's peel-offs right there. And while we're looking at these ones, basically like the play style of this is like similar to Reiju with the new stuff. The little guy can bring out the bigger guy. Um, so if your Sabo goes into the Sabo, Ace goes into the Ace, Luffy into the Luffy. Um, but they can trigger out other things, which you'll see in some other decks as well. It's not specifically this one other starter deck brings out any Sabo, any Luffy, any Ace with the cost of five or all, all of them. Your Garp's your Searcher, your Yamato's just a 2k counter that has Rush, and your, your Shanks is like a, a little tech car that you're running in there. Okay, moving on to the last list here. This one is a 130 man tournament. It is a three on three first place deck. Let's see how it looks like. We've got the four Satori, the four Hayori, the, the new stuff going on right here. Nothing too different in terms of the new cards there. Basically the ones that can go into the bigger ones, the Searcher, which is the Garp, the Yamato, nice 2k counter, two puddings, 
one Suru again, the two L Thor, great defensive option, one Amaru to finish, and then the four Sanji's peel off to get some nice draw power there. So, a couple of examples of some winning ace lists right there. Let's go on to some Luffy. So, this one, fairly big tournament when six and one came first place. Let's see what the Luffy runs. We run four Shirahoshi here, the four Hayori. So great ones there, Shiroshi is one that you can put into to life. So you can use the effect, dies, whatever. You can add in there, counter, you can add into life. Have a way to turn it face down, maybe with your Hayori. Again, some good draw power going on there. Once again, we're running the new package here with the Sabos, uh, the Aces, the Searcher Garp, uh, the, uh, the Luffy's, and then the black cards, the good cards here. We've got the Borsalino, four of, Virgo, four of, Sabo, four of. So this Sabo here, the little Sabo, this guy here, can so if we read the effect you may trash this character reveal the top card of your life it's a five cost sabo card you can play it um if you play it up to one of your leaders gains 2000 power for the turn so use luffy's effect to add it into life use a sabo you can bring out the new sabo or you can bring out the blocker sabo really nice and then you get you get go moria to recycle a bunch of your like your little characters here lets you recycle them you can recycle your searches as well um just can't recycle your shirahoshis or your virgos or your Sabos with the Garp. Pretty much everything else is gonna be recycled. And once again, not your bigger boys uh, can't be recycled there. But they can be recycled with Leaf effect going to life. Uh, let's take a look at another wing list here. There's another first place from a flagship tournament. Don't know how big it was. But once again, four Satoris, two Hayoris this time. You got your, your Sabo package going on here, your ace package. This one's running a 2K counter that we haven't seen before, the Machino. This one, you can add the top or bottom card of your life to your hand. You look at your life cards in return in any order. Now, I'm assuming, I'm not sure on the ruling exactly. If you know, let me know in the comment section down below. But I think you can replace them face down which is really good to avoid your bottom decking things with the leaders effect there uh once again the searcher garp there the the luffy into the luffy four boss Lino, four sabo four gecko moria there this one's running perona as a tech card 2k counter trashing cards which is not a bad idea because luffy can recycle the trash cards as the new life and then the three brothers bond this is another searcher similar to the garp which lets you look at the top five for a Sabo, Ace, or Luffy. This does the same thing, just in a event form. Moving on to another first place uh, Luffy list. So very similar, a four Satori, four Hayori, the Sabos, the Aces, the Makino here again, the Garp, the Luffy's, the Yamato we see in this one, and then the four Borsalina, four Sabo, four Gekko Moria. So you definitely want to pick up your play sets of those guys here. Same with your Satori, Hayori. Some run two, some run four, but basically you're running... Uh, full place of all of them, so pick them up. Uh, and then another first place Luffy list. This one going to it. The Shirahoshi has a one copy. You got the Satori going on. And then your four Virgo this time, four Sabo. No Gecko Moria in this one there, and no Borsalino there. So you don't really need those ones there, but the Sabo is a must have. That's that's where the, the big hurt for the wallet is. is and look, if you're going to run the, the Borsalino, that's also another big hurt for the old wallet there. This one we're running some Elthors or four of. Three Amaru's, two impacts or, or rejects going on here as well. All right, one final list for another first place Luffy here. Um, this is, we've got four Hayori's going on here. Um, your new stuff going on here as well, or stuff we've seen before. And then this one is running four Surus, four Borsalinos, four Sabos, two one leg soldier for that, some cost reduction stuff going on there, and your Elthor and your Armoru. It is just a 2K counter there as well. So the cost reduction stuff here with the Suru and your Twi'lek Soldier just pairs well with the new Sabo that we're getting there, lets you KO things with a cost of five or less. All right, moving on to the Sabo. As I mentioned before, there's a few different variants of the Sabo one here. So this one we can see we're running two Rush Zoro, three Rush Luffy. So cards that we can uh, rush with, recover back into our life, get back to our hand to play and rush again. Um, and But this one's running the Revolutionary Army type package here. So we've got your Ivankov, which lets you get out more characters. Your Kerasu, which you're minusing stuff. Your Koala, which is your 2k counter. Your Bello Betty, which is your searcher. Your Morley, which is your unblockable. Your Lindbergh, which is your KOing. Your Inazuma Rush. And this is the, the Ivankov, which I mentioned before, the OPO6. You can look top three. You can play one Revolutionary Army type with 5,000 or less. Return anything to the bottom of your deck. And that's basically all your Revolution Army stuff. They're all in that threshold right there. And then in terms of new stuff, we're just running the, the Ace package here. So this Ace gives you a rush if you have two or less life. Um, and then, so we're running the Luffy here, which then lets you play the Rush Luffy uh, off it, which is really nice. 
So this one, once again, it's similar. It has to be the top of your life, which is where this Sabo comes in here. So you get a nice combination going on here. You can play the, the Luffy Rush with the Luffy use Sabo's effect to pop it back into life. You can then um, use Luffy's effect to bring out the big Luffy again, rushing again, so you can see you can be fairly aggressive with this sort of stuff going on here. And then your four Hayori's just a great card to, to manipulate your life, making sure you can get off your Ace or your Sabo effect. Right, we're looking at another Sabo list here. This one is running more of a white beard package. So we're running a 2K in your Otama for your cost reduction, your big boy white beard at a three, your thatch at a four, your Vista at a two for your KOing, your Ace for your cost reduction. Can't cheat out this Ace with the new Aces, has to be a five cost Ace. You got your Marco blockers, your Ezo, your Searcher for your white beard pirates, or both four ofs. Your Haruto, which is your dom manipulation white beard pirates type there. Your F Fossa, which is your blocker for your white beard pirates. Your Koala, which is your 2K counter for your Revolutionary Army stuff, which Sabo is, so you can get that cost reduction there. Just another great option for that. Your Lindbergh, which is another KOing option here. And then we run into um, some of key yellow cards here. So look at all these. We're running three to four twos of these here. So we're going to run this list. Very interesting list. The only one of its kind that we see top in Japan here. Um, but the other stuff, you've got a Kiku. You can manipulate to the top of your life. That can be played out, as we mentioned before. Your Hayori, four of, just got to play that. Your Blocker, Momo, which lets you recycle your Hayori and your Kiku as well. Another way to do that. And then your Nekomo, which you can also be recycled off your Momo. And another great card, this one lets you attack into that. Some active characters can be triggered out for free if you have if your opponent has three or less life. All right, another Sabo list here. This one leans a bit more into like the kind of Wano kind of package going on here. So you get your Sabo with your, your Sanji this time. So tech card we spoke about um, earlier on, four of there, your Kiko four of, your Hayori four of, two Momos, four Nekomamushis, uh, your Ace package from your new stuff, your Garp Searcher from your new stuff. Um, your Luffy from your new stuff, which once again, we're playing the Rush Luffy, that combination going on there. Yamato from the, the new deck there. Um, running Shanks from OPO6, which is really interesting. On play, okay, or something with 10,000 power or less, which is pretty much anything in the game. You don't have any way to reduce the power of anything. So 10k is going to be your max there because you need all 10 on to play Shanks out. Um, you got your Nami. This is your Dom on a manipulation army so not a bad one to have there and then your luffy four of which can be played off the the new luffy and then your rush or just another aggressive version right there so if you want to play this version these are the ratios you're probably looking towards here second to last list we'll look at here another sabo one this one we're running some otamas as your two gate counter i'm not going to load here there we go two gate counter with some power reduction stuff here once again the rush luffy and we've got the little luffy there to play out with it um, so we're running Revolutionary Army type here. We've got your Inazuma 4 of, Ivanko 4 of, Karasu 4 of, Koala 4 of, Bella Betty 4 of, Lindbergh 4 of, and then the, the, the newer uh, Ivanko 4 of as well. Also running the, this is a uh, Ivanko out of the new starter deck. There's a blocker on play, trash the top or bottom card of your life. Reveal one five cost character from your hand, place it face down. Uh, the top of your life so just manipulating life there can be played out off the uh, Vankov here and the other Vankov here so great ways to cheat out a blocker that gets you some life manipulation going on here and we're also running the new Luffy in here as well and the the new Yamato so yeah a bit of a different take but once again you see if you want to run that revolutionary army type package there basically running four ofs of all the key stuff in there and the final list that we'll look at today, another revolutionary army type one here. Uh, first place, all these have been first place if you have been noticing or if I failed to mention them. Revolutionary army type package, four ofs for your Karasu Koala, Morley, Lindbergh, and your Vankov. This one's running a tech card in your Shiraya. This one's the blocker that uh, when attacking or when blocking, you can become the same power as your opponent's leader, which is really nice. So just yeah, a great tech card there. Um, you got your Cracker as a great tech card here. This one, yeah, look, can be yeah, reused, recycled with your Sabo's effect there. You can, with a the trigger there, you don't have to trash a card there, so just be mindful of that. But can be really good when you are behind. And this one's running a bit more of that yellow kind of 
good tech cards. We've got your four of your Sanji Blocker, your four Satori, your four Okiko, your two Genjoro, your four Nekomamushi, and then your four Reject, which is absolutely insane. Yeah, run four of it, why not? All right, there is a little look at the new stuff there, some cards to pick up so you can be ready for Starter Deck 13. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you're most excited for out of Starter Deck 13. And we'll be trying to get some good deck profiles out for each of the leaders uh, as well when that drops. But thank you so much for checking out today's video. Stay beautiful and we'll see you all in the next one.